Hello everyone, this is me Rajiv with a new video and this is the uh, second video of our cities building drone from scratch. Now in this uh, video we are going to talk about flight controllers. Like we will compare different flight controllers and uh, we will find out like based on your requirement and your budget which flight controller you should use. Okay. Now if you don't know what a flight controller is, it is basically the brain of the quadcopter. So for example as humans we have hands uh, like we have legs and are different body parts uh, but our brain is the thing which basically controls everything in the same way in a quadcopter or in a drone we have uh, motors we have gps compass different parts but flight controller is the part which basically controls everything so the more powerful the flight controller will be and the faster it will be the better the drone will be obviously okay so that's why i thought uh, talking about flight controllers should be the first thing now here we are going to basically compare four different flight controllers so the first one is Pixhawk, uh, then we have kk2 then we have apm and then we have like uh, dji nasa so now for dji nasa we have like its light version and pro version so we'll talk about both of them so these are the flight controllers we are going to compare now there are several other flight controllers in market also like cc3d and like uh, several other flight controllers now we are not going to talk about everything now i think these are the flight controllers most of the people nowadays uses so i thought uh, let's talk about them first okay now uh, let's talk one by one so at first let's start with kk2 now kk2 is a very old flight controller as you can see here i have one kk2 now i have built my first room with kk2 now it's a very good flight controller now it has a 8-bit 8 mega processor inside it now as it has a 8-bit processor it's not that fast so th this is the first disadvantage of this flight controller now it has mpu 6050 so basically three gyroscope and three accelerometer sensors and also if you see now it has one thing that all the other flight controllers doesn't have in our list which is a display so it has an inbuilt display and in this display actually and there are four buttons so basically using these four buttons you can actually set up the whole flight controller so you don't need a pc now in our list for the all the other flight controllers you must have a pc to configure them but in case of kk2 you don't need a pc okay so you can directly uh, configure this using these four buttons and this screen now the problems with kk2 is it doesn't support gps it doesn't support compass so you cannot use the external compass or gps with it uh, but it supports gimbal so you can connect a gimbal with it and uh, then yeah so i think yeah i think this is these are the like so the advantage is obviously it has a screen and it's really cheap so basically if you are building your first drone uh, or maybe if your budget is really low in that case you can go with this but one of the problem of this is here there is something called pid and you need to tune those pid values now uh, basically by tuning those pid values you can make your drone more stable now basically tuning those values are not that easy so like it is like you have to test you have to try like you have to change the values and try again try again and this way you have to actually tune those values and uh, it's not that easy for a beginner to be honest so that is the problem like you doesn't have any kind of simulator to like uh to uh what you can say configure this or maybe tune this so you have to manually tune this by tuning those values so for a beginner it's not that easy but again it is very cheap now the pricing is i think currently it's maybe 20 dollars and in india indian prices i think uh, 100 to uh, 1000 to 1500 rupees so uh, it's really cheap and i think the cheapest in our list so you can go with this if you're building your first drone or like if your budget is low the second one is apm now apm is a very kind of i can say compared to kk2 it's a very advanced flight controller it still has a like 8-bit processor but it has inbuilt barometer it has mpu 600 as uh, 6000 and like it has again at mega like i said at mega 8-bit processor so it, again the processor is not that fast faster than obviously our kk2 but not that fast because it's still 8-bit and uh, then but here you can actually use gps so you can connect external gps and compass with this uh, apm okay uh, basically uh, apm and like apm was a very good flight controller uh, previously and then after some time people realized that okay apm is good but it's not that powerful for a few purposes and then the builders of apm like came with a new flight controller which is pixel okay so i don't think in 2000 like in 2021 there is no uh, point of buying apm anymore 
like yeah, if you are not constrained to your budget like in that case you can go for pixoc pixoc is much better than apm now one point in apm is it was open source so like if you are building a custom project you can actually code it and you can like make custom things but again like like i said in 2021 i don't think apm you should buy if you are planning to buy apm you just can just go for pixoc because i think apm uh, the price of apm will be around i think 60 to 80 dollars okay in indian rupees maybe 3000 rupees whereas the price of pixoc is double of it but uh, the price actually worth it Okay, now let's come to Pixoc. Now, Pixoc is the product controller I am using in this room. Now, I am a fan of Pixoc. You can say, okay, now this is because Pixoc is Pixoc has a processor of 32-bit, so it has a 32-bit ARM Cortex processor, which is quite powerful. Uh, so, it is I'm talking about like the initial version of Pixoc. Now, Pixoc has the latest version, which is Pixoc Cube or Pixoc version 2. We are not talking about that because Pixoc cube is very costly it's around 250 dollars okay so uh, i don't think like pixel obviously pixel cube have okay so we'll talk about pixel cube later first let's talk about pixel now why pixel is good because pixel has like it has the gps compass like you can connect external compass and like uh G like uh, gps and then it has inbuilt barometer it has an inbuilt micro sd card slot where you can actually log the data and it's very stable now uh, and also it's open source now this is the most important point because if you are building a custom project maybe you want to do image policing with your drone or maybe something specific in that case you have to buy pixel because it's open source and you can actually uh, program it you can modify its code and things like that Where, whereas you cannot do that with few other strike controllers we'll talk about for example D, uh, dji nasa is also a very good flight controller but you cannot it's not open source so pixel the main advantage is open source okay so if you are a college student and you are like working on some project uh, you should buy a pixel rather than some other flight controllers okay now pixel have many ports so you can uh, connect some other third party like sensors also with pixel and so basically as we are using pixel in this course we will have a separate video on pixel where we will talk about pixel in detail but in this video the main points are like pixel has a good processor and like it is very stable and uh, the programming is pretty like programming is not easy but configuration is not uh, that hard so you have a software and using that you can configure it obviously we'll, i will show you how you can do that in future video but pixel is a very good part controller okay and now coming to pixel cube pixel cube is better than pixel but like i said it's too costly and uh, maybe for most of the people i don't think like uh, if you are building a drone for the first time a uh, pixel is just enough for you you don't have to go for pixel cube but again if you have to uh, make a future group drone like in that case you can go for pixel cube also okay like most of the things are similar but it has some advantages okay now coming to dji nasa now nasa is like i said nasa two versions nowadays like it's nasa light this is nasa version one and version two but like obviously there's no point buying version one either you buy nasa light or you can buy nasa version two now as i said it's developed by DJ, dji like uh, so obviously you can so we know like it's a very good flight controller okay it's very stable uh the build quality is better i would say with compared to pixel apm the build quality of nasa dj nasa is much better okay the cable quality in pixel the cable quality like the okay i thought i forgot about talking about the price of pixel so pixel is around 120 uh, dollars so which is around ten thousand uh, so ten thousand dollars in indian rupees and basically so uh, you will get the whole kit so gps uh, compass and uh, micro is slot and you, you will get all the whole kit in that uh, amount so it's a pretty good deal now coming to nasa nasa version 2 is 200 dollars now costly than pixel uh, so in indian currency it's uh, 14 000 to 15 000 rupees and uh, but so why it's costly uh, because obviously the build quality is better much better in pixel the cable quality of those sensors are not good like you will see like uh, whenever you see them you will feel like they will break like they will damage very soon but whereas in nasa the quality is really good uh, sometimes the stability in nasa is also good uh, it's easy to configure nasa compared to pixel it's it, in pixel it's not hard but it's not as easy as nasa too okay so when i am talking about dj nasa i am talking about both the versions okay so uh, so comparing to like the build quality is better the uh, stability is better 
and no, not stable is not better like in few cases it is better but like they are almost same i would say pixog and nasa dj nasa best like uh, with gps the stability is almost same maybe in few cases you will see that nasa is maybe performing a little bit better but then why i have built this drone with pixog why not nasa because nasa is not open source so you cannot if you are building some custom project you cannot build with nasa okay so you can only build a drone you can just attach a camera a gimbal that's it you cannot do anything else whereas pixog ah, there is no limitation you can do anything but nasa you cannot and coming to NASA Lite and version 2, Lite is a little bit, uh, the price is a little bit lower. Like I think the price of Lite is around 10,000 rupees, Indian rupees, Indian currency. And I think it's around 150 to 160 dollars maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's uh, cheaper than NASA version 2. But the thing is that there is no much difference between Lite and like version 2. Uh, version 2, uh, uh, so few people say it's like version 2 has a better GPS uh, sometimes, but uh, they are almost same and also one major uh, change is like nasa light uses an old firmware whereas version 2 uses a new firmware so in the new firmware you will get few advantages which you cannot get with light but again like uh, in for most of the people it doesn't matter okay so if you are just building a drone for the first time and you doesn't have a very big budget a nasa light is good for you uh, if you have a better budget you want to just build a good more better drone uh, maybe you can go for nasa version 2 but like i said for most of the people if you're building if you're buying nasa in that case nasa light will work now they said about the uh the four side controllers now which one you should buy uh, it depends like i said if you have a very low budget you can go for kk2 it's not bad like i said i have built a drone with it and it works like the stability was pretty good uh, if you have a like I can say if you have a good budget and you want to uh, build a drone which you want for custom you have a custom requirement maybe like image processing maybe you want to do something else things like that uh, in that case Pixoc is best for you uh, because like I said it's open source you can do whatever you want and if you just want to build a drone which is stable which is like uh, you can add, you want to add some camera with it and things like that in that case you can go with DJI NASA. Now, obviously, the price will be a little bit higher compared to Pixoc, uh, but yeah, you can go with that because the build quality is better. Now, in this course, I'm going to use the uh, Pixoc, uh, obviously, because uh, in Pixoc, like I said, it's open source and we will we will be able to customize our drone. Uh, but even if you want to use some other flight controller, you can still continue watching those videos because uh, before even we will attach the flight controller there are many things which are common so basically when i will plug pixel instead of that you have to just use the nasa line light or a nasa version 2 except that things will be just the same okay so this is all about this video guys now like i said i will make a detailed video on pixel because we will pick, use pixel in this series maybe in some future video i can also use maybe a kk2 as i have that also maybe some, in some other video i can use nasa in light or like nasa version 2 uh, but that are some future plans for now we will see to pick up so in the next video we'll talk about different parts of drones and like we will talk about uh, like which parts like for example like which part you should buy which is good for you and things like that about all the other parts except the flight controller so that's it about this video guys uh, so thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do that and i will see you in the next video